When you've got a really big pie, you can take a smaller slice. When you've got a smaller pie, you need a much bigger slice. This is what we go to call market share. And great real estate agents are all about identifying what we go to call the before and after markets. Let's say, for example, that you have an average sale price of a million dollars. We know that ultimately for someone to buy that million dollar property, then maybe they need to sell a property in the before market, which might be around, say, 500,000. Now, every single time that you're working in open for inspection in that million dollar price range, you find sellers who are walking through with $500,000 properties to sell. Then we go and have a look at some that we go to call the aftermarket. When you sell for those owners at a million dollars, where do they move to? And let's say, for example, they move to a new location where ultimately they go to spend 1.5 million. That's now what we go to call the aftermarket. Now, the interesting component here is that when they move to that aftermarket, they might not buy through you. They might buy through one of your competitors. But now all of that data of where they're moving to, these are actually future and emerging markets for you as a great real estate agent. So what the skill is to do is to ultimately have a look at that, that when a buyer buys, where do they come from? And when a seller sells, where do they move to? And if there's any understanding about ultimately about what's happening with those buyers, then you ultimately can start to wrap up how they actually move in your particular area. This demographic profiling is critically important. And we know that in working with some of the best agents, they really understand where buyers start out. Now we've had the opportunity to work with the incredible Alexander Phillips for many years in the podcast. And Alex will always tell you that they start out in Bondi in his market, they move to Tamarama, they then ultimately end up in Bronte, and then later on they retire into Pado. And so we literally call that the golden circle, where it ultimately moves through those marketplaces, starting in those smaller apartments, moving to those beautiful family homes, and then back into the more of those retirement living type opportunities that actually exist closer to the city. The skill of what a great agent does is they understand how to be an agent for all markets, that ultimately that you can work every price range and that then you know exactly where your customers are going in both the before and after markets. The challenge is that some agents get so focused on this market, they never see the next one. Let's say for example, that you're stuck selling apartments, but when those sellers sell those apartments, where do they ultimately move to? Or in addition to that, if they're landlords that are selling those apartments, then where are those bigger homes that those landlords already own? The skill is to ultimately to find opportunities that other people simply just don't see. The other conversation is to think a little bit about this. Over the course of the last couple of years, we've seen lots and lots of landlords sell their investment properties. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Landlords make money in two ways, either by the rent that they receive or by the capital gain that they make on those particular properties. The skill of what a great agent does is that you identify, well, hang on a second, if ultimately we're seeing property prices come back and we're seeing rental prices increase, then now's the time for those landlords to come and re-enter the marketplace. What a great call list. How about you work with your principal or sales manager, get a list of every landlord who's sold their investment property over the course of the last two years. And let's get back on the phone and have a great conversation with them about what they could do to actually go and re-enter the marketplace today. That's what the smart money is doing. It's getting back into the market now whilst we go through this temporary lull to then be in a position to ultimately maximize the profit when the market starts to kick. That's what great agents do. They find both the before and after markets and they learn how to work them. 